hi everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel this is carolyn here and today is february 23rd 2024. Uh, the purpose of this video is going to be a course in miracles as you know i have started on the one year journey of a course in miracles and we will be on lesson I believe it is lesson 25 today just let me double check real quick yes lesson 25 so we're having a pretty windy day today here in Florida what a lovely day it is uh, I just want to thank you guys for being here and if you are just now seeing this for the first time and you're um, wanting to do a Course in Miracles, I would recommend that you start from Lesson 1 if this is your first time ever seeing, seeing it. I have a playlist uh, that I created where I put all the videos starting with Lesson 1. Uh, it's called A Course in Miracles one year journey 2024 so if you're ready for this journey go ahead and like and subscribe and we'll do this together yes you can get this book off of amazon as well i, I got this book um two years ago and it has uh the reading material and uh the students material which is what, what i'm doing right here and then I'm doing my first account. So with that said, I'm going to read the idea for today's lesson. And then I will uh, read uh, the instructions on how we apply it. And then I will personally apply it. All right, here it is. And if you would like, you can get a piece of paper or a little index card and write the idea down on it. That way you have it, for, have it throughout the day. It is, I do not know what anything is for. I do not know what anything is for. Okay, number one, purpose is meaning. Today's idea explains why nothing you see means anything. You do not know what it is for, therefore it is meaningless to you. Everything is for your own best interests. That is what it is for. That is its purpose. That is what it means. It is in recognizing this that your goals become unified. It is in recognizing this that what you see is given meaning. Number two, you perceive the world and everything in it as meaningful in terms of ego goals. These goals have nothing to do with your own best interests because the ego is not you. This false identification makes you incapable of understanding what anything is for. As a result, you are bound to misuse it. When you believe this, you will try to withdraw the goals you have assigned to the world instead of attempting to reinforce them. Number three, another way of describing the goals you now perceive is to say that they are all concerned with personal interest. Since you have no personal interest, your goals are really concerned with nothing. In cherishing them, therefore, you have no goals at all, and thus you do not know what anything is for. Number four. Before you can make any sense out of the exercises for today, one more thought is necessary. At the most superficial levels, these levels, for example, you do not understand that a telephone is for the purpose of talking to someone who is not physically in your immediate vicinity. What you do not understand is what you want to reach him for. And it, is, and it is this that makes your contact with him meaningful or not. Number five. It is crucial 
to your learning to be willing to give up the goals you have established for everything. The recognition that they are meaningless rather than good or bad is the only way to accomplish this. The idea for today is a step in this direction. Number six, six practice periods, each of two minutes duration are required. Each practice period should begin with a slow repetition of the idea for today. Followed by looking about you and letting your glance rest on whatever happens to catch your eye, near or far, important or unimportant, human or non-human, with your eyes resting on each subject you so select. Say, for example, I do not know what this chair is for. I do not know what this pencil is for. I do not know what this hand is for. Say this quite slowly without shifting your eyes from the subject until you have completed the statement about it. Then move on to the next subject and apply today's idea as before. Okay, so we know that we are going to spend two minutes, six times today, applying the idea I do not know what anything is for. So we glance around and I'm going to take the phone. And we glance around and we start. You can say, I do not know what this cup is for. I do not know what these vitamins are for. I do not know what these journals are for. I do not know what this jacket is for. Near or far when looking around. I do not know what this tree is for. I do not know what these houses are for. I do not know what these glasses are for. I do not know what this necklace is for. I do not know what these benches are for. I do not know what the playground is for. I do not know what the people on the playground are for. I do not know what that grill is for. I do not know what that trash receptacle is for. There, you have two minutes of using the idea, I do not know what anything is for, and then looking around and saying that slowly on the objects that you see um, and you're going to do this 
six times today and it's going to be for two minutes each time and I guarantee you each time you do it it will be different because you'll be in different places so even when I do this again later it will be different it will be in a different location and I will just do it to myself and remember you are safe and this is a safe community uh, these videos are here as a non-judgmental zone for your learning and growth for for um, undoing your old thought process and beginning a new thought process we're in it together and with that said I will see you tomorrow and if you made it this far in the video go ahead and like and subscribe for a video tomorrow much love and peace to you all leave a comment in the comment sections and of the videos and I'll see you tomorrow.